But you know what's even more incredibly sad, but even more disgusting, is listening to my fellow people in the media who had no idea and never really kept up with X, never really cared for him. Now all try to sit on a high horse and point fingers of who's to blame for his death. Yo, he died because of this. Or everybody loves the pat on the back. I told, didn't I tell y'all? It was disgusting. I listened, I listened to Joe Button's podcast today. And it was a very terrible episode. Because Joe Button's a guy I do like and I respect. And a guy who was my former co-worker. But the two little stooges who were with him. And trying to, uh, I don't know. I don't know what they were trying to do. They turned the conversation about X's death into trying to almost say academics did it. Now, let's be clear. Or, or I'm to blame. Now, let's be clear. I have no problem with niggas criticizing me. Those two niggas have criticized me for a while. By the way, every time they speak, I see a cloud of jealousy. He doesn't deserve a platform. He doesn't deserve. I work for this. And, I, and this is not to make, this is, trust me, this is not about me. That's why I'm kind of upset. Yeah, turn the conversation about X's death. And what we know right now, this is facts. Because what are you, whatever y'all are talking about, well, this is right. You, they said the most imbecile thing ever. Like X was beefing with niggas and he died as a result of a beef. You know why? You know why that's even worse? That podcast is listened to by half a million people daily. Now, I have an audience. I get it. But you guys have an audience, too. And when you tell people or try to put it out there or even imply that this is some type of result of rap beef, when we don't know that yet, maybe it is, but we don't know that yet. Even the cops right now are saying it's random. If When you imply that, you change the entire legacy and entire perspective of this kid. You almost basically put it, well, he kind of deserved it. How dare you guys? Even the... If listen, if if the if, if you want to criticize me, there's many days to criticize me. You can criticize me tomorrow, next week, two weeks from now. You don't have to pick his death to use that as a thing to criticize me. There's man, there's multiple times you could criticize me, and I get it. And if if I respond, I'll respond. But to chalk up that man's death and then try to use it as something to say this is what no. Again, l- let's talk about what we know currently. The police are saying it's random. Who knows if it's random? It might not be random. But we don't know any rap beef or any situation that was publicized at least via the internet that helped cause this. Which, number one, I would then look at you to say, how is this my fault? If, if, if nothing online causes, how is this my fault? Number two. I actually pulled out number two. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. But seriously, though. That is the main thing. When, if we don't know what happened and you start changing the narrative to say like, oh, this is what, like, if academics didn't do this. And so, 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 so I believe one of those guys' points is the albino kid. He, he said, academics was on everyday struggle wishing RIP, but he promoted this. If you, it, this is why I have to call you guys either you, you don't have enough knowledge or just super uninformed or you just don't care or you're so disgusting that you're just trying to tie it. Like, you guys are trying to get at me. I get it. I get it. Just don't use X. Don't use X. Then don't, then don't try to put a narrative to make me feel bad for being sad for my friend. If my friend, and by the way, this could happen to anyone. Again, I'm going with what's known so far. This could happen to anyone. X was a millionaire. Nigga has made $10 million in his career thus far. If he's rolling around without security in a very expensive car, he came out of somewhere, somebody tried to rob him. And again, I'm, I'm going with that because we don't know anything right now. And I'm then asking y'all, why are y'all making the comments y'all are making if y'all don't know anything more than what I'm saying? And he gets robbed. It could happen to anybody. It could happen to anybody. That's not rap beef. That's not social media posting. It's not because X used to just say random shit online or act out. That is not the cause of his death. That's not the cause of his death. I 
just don't know how pe people with that big of a platform could sit there and try to tie this guy's murder and death. Number one, around a media personality. Number two, basically almost almost try to throw a little blame to him to say, well, this is what beefing went on. This, all that, I, I get it. You guys have an angle. Like, yeah, well, these new kids, that's the whole, I guess, like the, I, I think their demographics is the older demographic. Clearly mine is younger. So I guess it's the, well, we're going to teach you how to navigate the streets. We get it. We get it. And sometimes y'all are informative. We get it. No, nobody's knocking that. But only when it's applicable. Because the guy was trying to buy a bike, a, a, a motorcycle, he should have stayed out the streets. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Where the fuck do you guys get this type of shit? You guys had a narrative, clearly. That, oh, street shit is real, and a rapper just died, so it got to be street shit. We don't know that as a fact yet. But you tied his murder to it. Saying all type of bullshit, generic shit. That's why y'all should stay out the streets. Don't promote it. That, death is something you mourn. Are you saying because you listen to a song by 50 that's glorifying killing, if your mother died, you wouldn't be sad? You wouldn't say R.I.P. if your friend died, if one of you guys died? God forbid. You wouldn't say R.I.P.? So that was disgusting to y'all? I'm not going to lie, man. I listen to these gentlemen, and again, I have respect for Joe, so I have to believe, I have to believe that they were uninformed and they were assuming he died because of a public rap beef it's no i listened to that and i said who believes this shit and you know the craziest thing is i see another video that starts going viral joe warned academics about the the guy died because apparently niggas just robbed him this is not no rap beef no again at least what we know so far if y'all know something that i don't know please let me know and also the authorities so this whole thing of, oh, yeah, we told Ak, we, you know what I mean, yo, we, we've been telling these kids, stop using this guy's death to further whatever narrative y'all got. Please stop it. If Again, he's my friend, and if your friend passes away, you will feel hurt. This wasn't something that, oh, okay. Uh, by the way, the sixth, and, and, and this is where, this is where that... You know, we have a lot of podcasts like this, and that's why I'm glad we're going into in, in the new age where, like, a lot of the young and also current generation people could also establish their own voices because every time I'm hearing from someone who is not in tune with the current generation, all they do is talk down and they don't know. Like, they're trying to give good advice, except they don't know, they don't know exactly what the situation is that they're giving advice to. They don't know. So if you don't know, you're going to just kind of say random shit. You're saying shit that you think is going on and you're just like saying bullshit. Again, there's a lot going on. But to, to hear those men just equate a guy going out to purchase a motorcycle... And thus far, I'm telling y'all, unless they know something, I don't know. This has not been connected to any rap beef, anything public, anything that was posted online. It appears that either maybe something was going on that we don't know. Or perhaps niggas tried to rob him. When I first heard this, and I still stand on this stance. And, and, oh, yeah, this is what, the point I try to make. So really... When, when, when Joe Bunn's podcast was discussing this, and this is why it's so disgusting, and this is, this is the majority of this other generation that's like trying to school us through podcasts and radio shows and all that. Y'all was trying to compare, essentially what I'm hearing, y'all was trying to compare X to 6 9 Y'all couldn't wait to throw reel in 6 9 into this. 6 9 going to Chicago has nothing to do with X. And it's completely different. X never did anything that 6 9 did. If you think that's the case, or if you could 
liking what 6ix9ine is doing and what X is doing or did, you're an idiot. Or you're just not paying attention, period. They brought 6ix9ine into the conversation real quick. And I'm like, why are we talking about 6ix9ine? Yeah, if 6ix9ine went to Chicago and something happened, clearly we know he wanted to go to Chicago. And by the way, even for that, I will tell you. It's just, so I think one of them mentioned, oh, academics said uh, if, if something happens, it's not on him. Okay, let me speak on 6ix9ine. I told 6ix9ine, do not go to Chicago. 6ix9ine called me in Chicago. I said, nigga, leave immediately. Do not do that. He said, he's, what am I going to do? I would be still sad, but I would have tried to warn him. I can't do much. I tried. I tried, bro. I tried. And, and, and if y'all want to have a conversation like, okay, you try, but you're posting it, blah, blah. I get it. We can have that conversation. We can have that conversation. Because then, you know what I mean, we could have a conversation about media, media responsibility. And I get it. I like how people like to frame what I'm doing. Like, it, it's, it's fucking revolutionary. We all do the same thing. Y'all just talk about it weekly. I just post about it on Instagram every five minutes. No one is better. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell y'all, okay? Um, you, you might then say, well, you're kind of fanning the flames. I don't believe so. I show both sides. But we have a conversation about that. And that's a different conversation. But that's a 6 9 conversation. That's a 6 9 conversation. X died. X died. And I see everyone who is commenting on this, especially people that are not in tune with this generation, constantly trying to use X to tie to some of the antics that 6 9 has done. By the way, I will let you know I'm the person who got X and 6 9 to be cool. And I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, X, after he went through a media firestorm and after everything, because he didn't think he was doing nothing for shop value. He didn't need it. He got out of jail. And when he got on Instagram Live, there was 40,000 people there. They were buying his album, 70,000 on Empire. All y'all niggas who think y'all popping, go do 70,000 on Empire. He knows he was popping. He didn't need to do those nuts. So he wasn't beefing with niggas for clout. 6 ix 9 loves, loves attention. I can tell you that. But X was not doing that. X purposely didn't post pictures. Purposely didn't go out there every single day. Now, when he did have his issues, he did publicize those. I'm not going to lie. But two different situations. The reason when I hear y'all give y'all comments on what's going on, I hear two things just bleeding out and one of them you know what i mean it's one of those like everyone wants to be a prophet like i, I heard it from and you know what i mean by the way i don't have issues with any of these guys i just like to point out things that i see i heard it when i, when I heard Charlemagne telling six nine like it, it, it's a thin line between warning someone or or almost kind of like just putting a bet like i'm gonna just say this now that when it happens i'm gonna get on air and say i told y'all so Felt like that going on. Didn't I tell y'all? Everybody, did I tell y'all this was going to happen? That's exactly what they're trying to do to X. Didn't I tell y'all this was going to happen? If, if for everybody who's making that little clip, the one with me and Joe on Everyday Show where we were talking about um, X saying things and going at the Migos, that was when X was engaged in rap beef. This has nothing to do with rap beef. So if you think this is a I told you so moment, how, nigga? Nigga, how? How the fuck is this with Rap beef when it has completely nothing to do with Amigos or that situation. How? Also, and again, I don't got no problem. With none, with, with, listen, I, I just heard a lot of things that I disagree with. I'm, I, I'm, X was my friend. Doesn't matter if we had, you know what I mean? It, it, it's something, and I was hit, listening to Bad Baby, even though I don't like listening to Bad Baby. But, but, but she was friends or somehow cool. So whatever you want to call it with X. And she feels bad also because she said she had like she had an argument with X before he passed. Yeah, I had an argument with him before he passed. Yeah, I, like th that does kind of make you feel a way when, again, we're talking about friends. If your friend died and the la last thing you told him like, fuck you or fuck off, you kind of feel a way like, damn. He didn't get to realize how much I do appreciate him, even though we're fighting over what whatever bullshit it was. Um, but yeah, I, I heard Charlemagne also say. He said, "Well, when you talk about death a lot, 
you kind of speak it into an existence. And I was like, what are we talking about here, man? I, I, I get it. I get it, man. Everybody is a fucking guru on 40 laws of power and the secret and fucking, uh, um, like, uh, um, all these, like, law of attraction. I get it. 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 But Jesus Christ, man. Most of the things that, most of the times, if we really go, that's why I, I have to think about it. And this is why I said, do these people from that generation, and I'm sorry I'm saying that generation, but I'm saying it because they have no clue of the people they're making the comments on. It's not like they really cared about him. If it was someone with Jay or something like that, they know everything. But if it's like X, they're like, oh, that's a fucking little rapper that, yeah, who's in the headlines all the time. They, they don't even really care to know. Most of the time when X spoke about death, he spoke about suicide. It was a mental, the dude had a mental issue. He admitted it. He admitted it. I believe he admitted it on, on the on the um, on the podcast, but uh, or the uh, back and forth we had on Twitch. But he told me now it's not something he was gonna just. I think he did make it public too. But you know, what I mean, he was going through some court cases, like he certain things he couldn't say. You feel me? Because if you don't make it, well, all that shit. But yeah, he had suicidal thoughts. He talked about death a lot. He thought death would cure the pain that he was feeling in many different ways. That is. Not in, in 2018, that is not such a taboo thing where people are suicidal, especially when, I mean, some people, they're, they're hyped up on drugs or the effects of drugs, and these are things that happen. Like, yes, he also spoke about if he got killed as well. But he was also looking to the future. I don't know how we get to, <clears throat> he spoke his death into existence I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I just think that's a bullshit point. Stop it. He didn't speak his death into existence. Not in my book. Now, he may disagree, and that's fine. We, we could leave it there. But I heard that I'm like, he spoke his death into existence. Most of the time, he's talking about death, he's talking about killing himself. But it's because of all the things he was using his music to cure. I don't know, man. Most of the comments from people that... Clearly had no idea. Like, like, of course they say the cliche thing. Yeah, the kids love him and they say he's really talented. You're not keeping up with it. This is a once in a generation type artist. This is a once in a generation type artist. For this generation, this is the Pac. I'm sorry. It is, he, he's the Pac for them. Now, I'm not saying he's greater than Pac. Trust me, I ain't saying that. I'm just saying he's that guy. He's that guy. He's the best artist out of his generation by a mile. And you know what? I don't want to make this whole thing about just addressing those comments, but I felt it was necessary because I feel like everybody tries to either throw their two cents in it. And also, there's a couple of other media personalities I heard, like they, they, they couldn't even wish condolences, right? Without saying he was accused of beating women. And um, remember, he wasn't that good of a guy. Again, these are accusations. And unfortunately, you didn't get his day in court that it could be proven one way or the other. And, and, and shit, you may feel whatever way about it, but when, when I heard a lot of people say that, it felt like they were trying to kind of uh, frame how people looked at him in death. Like, just remember, he was a really bad guy, though. He was a really bad guy. He was a really bad guy. And, 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 and I thought it was a little tasteless. I thought it was a little tasteless. Now, of course, when the story of X is told, that will have to be addressed, right? In terms of his allegations and all of that. But for the people who need to, when saying rest in peace, have to contextualize his death by saying things he was alleged to do, and that he probably was a bad person, nigga. You might as well just say, say, man, that nigga did good for him. Like that's what that's, it sounds like. That's what you're saying. That, that's what it comes off to me. I'm I, I, listen. He was my friend, so maybe I'm a little sensitive to that. I could admit that. I could admit that. But that's what it comes off to me. <laughs>